Hi all, welcome back to my channel. It has been such a long time. Uh, today we're gonna plan for the week of June 22nd through June 28th, and we're gonna be using the Farmhouse sticker book. Now, for the month of June, I have been focused on one of the seven habits, and it's habit two, which is begin with the end in mind. So we're gonna be doing a couple different things with this spread. Um, one is we're going to focus on roles and goals in it. And the other is we're going to kind of do a bottom heavy spread. So I'm going to be really decorative at the bottom and it's going to be more functional towards the top. So I thought I would use these florals here at the bottom. So we're going to see how that works out. <clears throat> Now, some of these florals may get covered up with some colorful boxes as we go. Um, I'm not super concerned about that. That's why I'm not whiting out any lines today. Um, just want to get this in as nicely as possible. How many of you have ever read The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People? And do you have a favorite habit? Begin with the end of mind is kind of always like my go-to favorite. And especially with like talking about how the school year is going to start and things like that. I've just, I've really been focused on that. Like, you know, how's it going to look? What's going to happen? I think I might cut this one. Let's see. Try to make it come up this way. Let's see what we can do here. A little sticker surgery. So roles and goals. Here's what you're going to kind of see as we go through this spread. The top part is going to have to do with my role as kind of a caretaker in the sense of like being a wife and a daughter. And so appointments and to-do lists and things like that. Let's see if we can fit him. Kind of coming off there. I'm just going to layer. And I'm not going to be afraid to layer. It's going to be fine. That's the one thing I have to remember. So there's no wrong answers. It's just a planner spread. Right? It's just a planner spread that I have to look at all week. No, it's all good. And a little fringe there. I'm going to take this long guy. So like I said, top is more of my caretaker role. Um, wife, daughter. I do a lot for my parents. Um, middle is going to be a lot of teacher things, so that teacher role that I have. And then the bottom, even though it's covered up kind of a lot with all of these flowers, the bottom is actually going to be my role as a pink zebra consultant. Um, if you haven't heard of pink zebra, I'll put a link to my business page at the bottom. I don't know how I want to I want to do something different with him. Um, but Pink Zebra is a home fragrance company and I just love it. It's been so fun, but there are some goals that, you know, I would like to work on with that. So I'm gonna put a few things down here about that. This is curving towards there, but I think we're gonna need a little more to make him look like he belongs to that part of the spread. So let's see what we can do. Can we add put him here? And I kind of wanted to do a bottom heavy spread because I really hadn't done one like that before. Or like there's a lot of decoration at the bottom and I've been trying to use up my sticker stash so that's why I was like let's do farmhouse it's always a it's always a nice one and I'm definitely more of a rose gold fan than a gold gold fan gold gold So I like the fact that even though some of these might get covered up, 
it'll still like you'll see parts of it peeking out and it it'll be all good Let's and like he's a little bear over here Ah, the sticker is stuff. Okay, put him going. Hmm. <laughs> this one's a little trickier. I could cut them, but I don't really want to. I just kind of want them. I don't mind that there's like overlay and peeking out and all that fun stuff. I don't think I have this guy over there. All right, I think we're gonna stop there. We may add a little bit more in there, but let's start taking care of some other business. So what I'd like to do is see if we can find something got a checklist i haven't really used the mason jar guides and i would like to use them i'm just not exactly sure how it may not happen this time uh, da, 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 da. so we're going to take this today's focus and it's going to actually let's see monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday oh wait but i'm going to use that as my weekly meal plan oh i know what i'll use for this guy i know what i'll use for the today's focus usually i put like a meal plan over on the sidebar but lately i've actually been using the grocery list meal plan half sheet as my well meal planning guide give you a quick look here so this half sheet I've been using so I just kind of clip it in there so we got today's focus that one what we're gonna do is that's where my workouts are gonna go that's what we're gonna do there let's get a appointment header focus top priority Day. These are cute because they have the rose gold on there. Do we have a green one in today? No, we could use blue. I've never understood why they give us tomorrow stickers. I don't think I've ever used a tomorrow sticker. Have you? Have you used a tomorrow sticker? Because I would really like to know about that. never used a tomorrow sticker. I've always tried to figure out how, a way to do it, but I'm like, mm -hmm. it doesn't really go with how I plan. Focus. All right, we're gonna use a to-do sticker. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna use this to-do sticker. It's gonna go up here. Now I'm not gonna put a to-do header on every single one of these. I like to do it kind of like on the first day and then I know it's kind of gonna go the rest of the week. And then for my teacher one, I'm gonna use something a little bit different. I think for my teacher one, We're gonna put, a oh, I've got flowered. I guess I could put a full box, kind of chilling at the top of that box. Oh, let's do this one. Never mind. I was gonna do Dream Bay, but I really like this one. Embrace what is getting because I think that's really important. Maybe we'll put him over here. 
since there's a little bit less going on on my Wednesday. I still have space to put things on either side if I need to, but let's do that. All right. So, checklists. What do we got? I know these guys have like full box checklists. I, I don't typically use those, but I mean, why not? What's the worst that's going to happen? See, so many things. All of the things. And you're like, what guys? I can't even see. Well, I'm using kind of a weird setup for the camera, which <laughs> is why you can't always see what I'm doing. So this is going to be an appointment sticker. And then we're going to use a to-do box because I don't typically, so why not? As you can tell, I'm, even though the bottom is kind of different than what I usually do, not, I mean, it's been a while since you've seen me plan, but um, I'm typically an inside the box planner. I guess that's just kind of how I roll. Let's use the pink one. We're going to put him on Not on Thursday, put him on Friday. Because why not? We need another appointment sticker on Thursday. So let's use, so we've done pink and green. We could use some blue because then I can tie in a whole bunch of these farmhouse stickers. So we're gonna do another appointment sticker and I feel like this goes with this planner. This is the, this is your year planner, which is kind of funny with everything that's gone on, <laughs> but that's okay. There's still always something to be thankful for. So we got that there, teacher plans. And I know you're like, it's summer. How could you have teacher plans? Trust me, I do. So we're going to go with. Maybe do another like box box. Maybe we'll use the top three guys. I'm not big fans of those either, but I think we'll use a today's focus. And we'll do it on Tuesday. Kind of That there. I've got some webinars I need to catch up on and some of them have to do with I've done my one for about how schools you know who like music programs are opening around the world and how they look and that's been really fun um, but we've I've got some other ones I need to watch and look at so I may not even put a box there I might just write in there so let's see I don't know, I don't think the mason jars are really gonna go with this spread. We're gonna have to do like a mason jar spread at some point though, guys. Okay, let's do a, what's this quote say? Oh, I like this one. I'll try and read it to you. I don't know if I can read it to you on camera, but I'll do my best. Oh, there we go. So it's behind you all your memories before you all your dreams around you all who love you within you all you need so we're gonna put that here under top priorities because it's nice to have a nice little quote box over there and i know some people are probably going that's not straight it's okay it is all good no big deal so we're gonna do let's see if we can grab something from colorful boxes because when in doubt get colorful boxes out, right? Ooh. Although I am like most of the rest. First of all, here's how I store kind of like my like sticker books. I get these binder rings. So anything that's like, how do I want to put it? Anything that's more functional, I put on this ring. So there's colorful boxes. And I know some people would say the pet one isn't typically 
functional, but it is for me because <laughs> I use a lot of pet stuff. Um, I have a student seasonal that has a lot of functional. Let's see, student seasonal that has a lot of functional things. And I got on clearance, which is even better. And then the journaling sticker book. So we got lots of options here. Probably not the journaling sticker book though, just because that one has a lot of gold gold in it. That ain't gonna work for the rose gold. So let's see what we can use. We've got, so we currently have the beige, the pink, the blue, and the green. Let's see if we can find something that could match up with those guys. We got a nice light pink here. So we'll put a, a webinar sticker there. Kind of remind me which webinars to do. And if you notice, I have two appointments here. These two appointments will probably take up most of my day. So I'm not trying to put too much else there. I may, I may throw in some things, but I'm trying not to throw too much at me on those days. I just, I've realized that when there's appointment times like that, it just doesn't really work. I'm gonna use this guy over here. Put some other webinar stuff there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see, do I have any other to-do list guys that could go on here? I don't think so. I've used up quite a few of them. Like the rest, like the rest of the planner people out there, colorful boxes is probably the most used one. I think that's good. Let's find some boxes to put down here for my pink zebra stuff. Okay, and it's not going to be a ton. You'll still be able to see those flowers peeking through, but I think it would be fun to put a little something there. So let's go with what we got in the blue and green family. I guess we could use some beige. We haven't done that. We only have one. We probably should use some more if we're going to keep that color in there. What can I do? We'll put him over here. The top three list of what needs to get done. Yes, it's on Thursday, but a lot of times my to-do list, I don't necessarily complete on that day, which is okay. Nobody said you had to, right? Nobody else is going to know. And then let's do I don't typically use these guys either, so why not? Let's use a today sticker. We'll put him kind of across these guys. Towards the top. Fabulous. I mean, why not? So that brings our beige back in. So we've got some blue, we got some pink, got some green. We got a couple different things going on. I'm cool with that. I don't think I want to bring in any more stickers. Oh, no, I need a mark Tuesday and Sunday. I'm going to tell you why. And this is a shout out to um, Coffee Planner Mom. And I'll link her in the description. Let's use a green heart. For those of you who've seen Coffee Planner Mom, you should know what that green heart on Tuesday is for. It's for Towel Tuesday. So when I saw her first put down stickers about Towel Tuesday, I thought that was a brilliant idea. So every Tuesday, I'm sure if she needs it more during the week, she put she does more. But um, Tuesday is Towel Tuesday. That's when she does her whole, um, load of towels from her house. And then... I added sheet Sunday, so I know when to change the sheets. So every week, you know, I'm keeping up on that. Otherwise, I will say this one for sure gets put on the back burner. I hate laundry. Let's just throw that out there right now. I hate laundry, but it's important to do because, well, you need clothes and you need towels and you need sheets. So these two, then I know those two laundry piles are out of the way. They have set days. Then I've been trying over the summer to do like the one pile a day. Some days that works out better than others. We just kind of have to see. So, um, sorry if I wiggled the music stand. Oh, and I did it again. Still working on the setup here, guys, but I've been just 
chomping at the bit to get back to this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I have some links in the description below to my Pink Zebra page, um, to my Instagram. I'm at holygranola27. And I'll see you guys later.